Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of AI in Action Building with Copilot Studio. In this video we're going to be looking at DLP policies or data loss protection policies. Microsoft Copilot Studio is an incredibly powerful low-code tool that enables you to create agents that then can connect to a variety of different data sources using knowledge and actions. These agents then can be published to a wide range of channels, making data security ever more important so that you can create a safe space for your makers to innovate and experiment and not expose data in a place that it shouldn't. So let's take a look at how DLP policies work with Microsoft Copilot Studio. First, let's check out the documentation on learn.microsoft.com. It's got all the details on DLP policy configurations and some really good examples to follow. Plus, it includes the PowerShell commands you'll need to enable DLP enforcement for Copilot agents in your tenant. We'll start by opening up the admin terminal using Windows key X, and now we'll install the Power Apps PowerShell commands and logging into our tenant. This lets us see the current DLP enforcement settings, which are off by default. You'll notice the term Power Virtual Agents, and that's the old name for Copilot Studio. Right now, DLP enforcement in my tenant is soft enabled, so that the makers will see the warnings, but existing agents will not be blocked. Next, we'll set the DLP policy to be fully enabled for any Copilots created after a certain date. This way, existing Copilots will keep working, even if they don't follow the new DLP policy, but new Copilots will always have it enforced. Now let's go to the Power Platform Admin center. Under policies, select data policies, and I'm going to create a policy that will prevent SharePoint knowledge from being used if there is no authentication settings. If we go to the non-business tab and search for Copilot, this will show us all the features in Copilot Studio that can be controlled by DLP policies. I'll select knowledge sources in OneDrive, SharePoint, and Documents, and then add those to the business group. So I'll leave chat without Microsoft's Entra ID in the non-business group, and I'll also block the Facebook channel altogether. If a feature or connector that's in the business group is used in conjunction with a connector or feature in the non-business group, then this will be a violation of the DLP policy. We can then configure custom connectors to be blocked if we wish, and then configure the scope of our policy. So all of the environments in our tenant, just a selection, or all of them except a certain selection. We'll save the changes and then create a new agent in Copilot Studio to test if the DLP policy is enforced. Using the configuration page, I can give it a name. And then if I go into settings under security, we can select the authentication and choose no authentication. This will show a warning saying that anyone now can access our agent without authenticating against an identity provider like Entra ID. In channels, we'll also see a warning that one of the channels is blocked, which makes sense because we blocked the Facebook channel. Selecting the Facebook channel confirms that it is unavailable because of our DLP policy. Finally, we'll add a knowledge source, specifically a SharePoint site. Remember we added SharePoint sites to the business group in our DLP policy, which conflicts with the non-business group that includes the action chat without Microsoft Entra ID authentication. So because our agent is set up to not require authentication, the knowledge source is blocked. If we go into details and expand the details, we can now download an Excel spreadsheet that shows us exactly what has been blocked and why. We can see here that the knowledge source with SharePoint and OneDrive is in the business group, but the chat without Microsoft Entra ID authentication is in the non-business, which means those two are conflicting and so they're gonna be blocked. To fix this, we need to change the authentication setting in our agent back to authenticate with Microsoft. This will mean that our agent now can answer questions about all those documents in that SharePoint site. So as you can see, DLP policies give you full control over how and where your data is used. To learn more about DLP policies in Copilot Studio, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Microsoft Power Platform channel. That's all for today. So until next time, have a great rest of your day. Cheers.